As the lantern ride is around the corner, that means that Xiao is also coming up. This would be his fourth rerun, so many of you probably already have C1 to C5 Xiao. And now may be the time for many of you to get C6 Xiao. Well, let me teach you how to make the most out of Xiao at C6. C6 Xiao actually has a very high skill ceiling to play it properly. Sure, you can plunge and spam your E's, but you may find yourself running into a wall. Hell, even I do it sometimes after playing him for more than a year. But there is a specific way to control Xiao's targeting so that you can stick to the target when you're using his elemental skill and not fly off into a random wall. There are also many techs that can be employed to make use of Xiao, as well as getting off 6 Lemnus Static Wing Cyclings if you time it correctly and get a ton of energy to refill your Xiao immediately. First things first, let's fix your settings. You'll want to turn your camera Y axis reset to off because you really don't want it to be changing angles. It's better if you do control it yourself. Also, turn off your combat camera. This will actually make your camera stick to certain targets and it can really throw off your gameplay. In addition, make sure that your default camera distance is set to max so you can see more when you are plunging with Xiao. Now, what to do when you have C6 activated? Firstly, you have to decide on two things. Can you refill your burst by the time Xiao has finished murdering the enemies? First point, you can activate 3 E's free of charge when you hit 2 enemies, but your 4th E will use 1 charge. You also regain 1 charge when you hit 2 enemies. So with that, you have 4 E's at your disposal for every plunge. Because of this, you could charge your E so that when your burst is done, you have full charges to regain energy. Against mobs where you fear you will not regain your energy at the end of your burst, you will want to use either 3 or 2 E's depending on the position, at least twice. With 3 E's, you may find yourself behind the enemy which may not be ideal, so sometimes you'll want to use 2 E's instead. Now, after you've done this 2 or 3 times, you're free to use all of your E charges now. Well, not all, just 4. Remember, no more than 4. You will have full charges once your burst is over and you'll be able to regain a ton of energy for Xiao. So, against heavy mob area, where you can spam your E to no avail, what you want to do is not to hold down the forward button when you are plunging. When you do this, if your auto targeting fails you, you will find yourself flying off into a random location. What you instead want to do is swing your camera around to stay on target. I like doing a top down view as it helps, but also at a slight angle. You want to position your camera to face the enemies, that way, if your auto-targeting does fail you, you at least go back towards the enemy, and then your next skill should land. You will have to get used to swinging your camera around to play C6 Xiao properly. It's fine to play the normal way and then only swing your camera back every now and then, so keep that in mind. Now sometimes, you will find that some enemies get pushed up too high into the air. Normally, your E will land, but you could do some cool things like jump and start activating your limited static wind cycling. You must be very quick because the timing is strict or you'll fly extremely high and you'll just miss everything. Another thing to note is that against bigger mobs who aren't extremely grouped up, you are able to jump and hit them both without issues. Lastly, a very very cool tech to get off 6 E's and a ton of energy. If you plunge when your burst is at 3 to 4 seconds with the cooldown, you're able to spam your E and get an insane amount of charges. You will be able to get off 5 to 6 charges if timed correctly. It's a great energy trick to lessen the energy needs, but it is inconsistent. Sometimes your plunge lined up correctly, other times it doesn't. Just pay attention to the cooldown. If you see it at 3 seconds and ticking, spam your E. You'll have to hit his enhanced plunge to get off those E's though, so if you see a white number, then you're not getting those extra E's. Good luck to everyone wishing for C6 Xiao. Without a doubt, in my opinion, he is the most fun character in Genshin Impact at C6. It's very frustrating that with all the money or Primo gems spent, he gets no benefits from C6 against single target enemies. While his C5 and his C3 are decent, those boosts are not very good. You may get 13% extra damage on paper, but in reality, it's maybe a 1-3% increase because of how stacked his damage bonus is. Either way, my Xiao is pretty damn good, and there isn't a single single target boss that Xiao cannot take down in Abyss within the time limit. He is more than capable of taking care of single targets with the right supports. 
Good luck on your polls, and I wish to give you a premature welcome to the C6 Shout crew. If you have decided to get C6 Shout already, then I wish you the best of luck. If you're still on the fence, make sure to do a ton of research beforehand. You have to be fine with the skill curve to learn to use C6 Shout. Alright, happy wishing fellow Shao mains. May the Yaksha's blessing be on your side. Until next time, Enigma out.